Hey, what's up guys? I'm back with another video and this time uh, I'm going to go over the new trading post in WoW. So I'm sure many of you have already seen this about a thousand times because people have been posting from the PTR. So it's it's a little coin icon on the map. Let me see if I can get it to show up again because it showed up earlier and now it's not there. There it is. Okay, so you can kind of see the little coin icon on the map. Um, that is the trading post. Right now, it's probably going to be a little bit laggy if there's too many people. So depending on the server you're on will depend on if it's laggy or not. But I'm going to go down here, get off my mount. So we have a couple of people at the trading post that you talk to. Uh, there's some random things. And it looks like they might even have some of the stuff on display just kind of nearby. That's that's what I'm thinking anyways. I haven't actually explored this at all yet. Um, I've, saw, I've seen a couple of videos about it, but uh, that's about it. Like, I, I haven't really looked at this. So, I'm checking it out for the first time right now, too. Um, so, you get a quest, and it actually has you go to the trading post. Uh, I just got 1,000 traders tender. I don't know what that does quite yet. I think that's how you buy stuff. It is. Okay, so... Right now, right off the bat, you can just buy, you know, something that you want from the trading post. Literally, right when you get there. That's kind of crazy. I didn't expect them to do to do that. You can also just buy a bunch of the stuff. You know, it's, you're not just, you know, going to one thing and that's it. They have multiple things and they look pretty cool. To be honest, I mean... Like, the staff, I mean, it's it's just a recolor, but it's cool. I, I like the color. Um, you have Fury of the Fire Lord, which you've seen a thousand times if you've been watching these videos at all. And there is a time limit on how long those things are. Uh, there's a little mini pet. You got uh, one of the kind of plain, but I could see the appeal um, ensembles. You have the staff that we looked at. You have a back piece. Yeah, it's just a back piece. Uh, Operator's Bandolier and Infiltrator's Bandolier. They're the same thing, just recolors of each other. And they're pretty cool. I mean, I like that it's, you know, not a cape. I was just expecting to have a bunch of capes, which, from what I saw, there might actually be quite a few capes as well. Uh, this dagger, which I'm pretty sure there's one like it in the game already so up to you if you want to get that this bow oh the bow's actually pretty cool i like the bow quite a bit um i don't know what transmog i'd put that with but uh, on my hunter I, I could see making a transmog around it it's pretty cool uh rosy corsage i don't know why it hid my armor that was weird but okay whatever it's just something that goes on your wrist uh, Squire's hammer, so a very basic hammer, but like a kind of sleek looking one. Um, I personally wouldn't use it because I don't like maces, but kind of cool. Uh, ensemble Vagabond's rosy threads. It looks like it's really just a helmet and maybe a cape. Maybe it's all in one. It does say includes a hood and cloak. I should have read that before I said that. And then we have Ensemble Wanderer's Rosy Trappings. Includes a scarf and a cloak. That's kind of cool because the scarf will take away a lot of the kind of bulkier headpieces. And it works with some pretty decent transmog, in my opinion. So, I mean, kind of cool. I, I I might actually get this one because, well, why not, you know? Uh, Fetid Bouquet. This is a an offhand, I think? Let me see. Yeah, held an offhand. That's actually kind of cool. It's uh like dark roses. That, that's pretty neat. I, I like that. Uh, iridescent war cloak. It's a cloak. It's a kind of pretty cloak, but it's a cloak. Uh, so you it looks like you can you can actually drag something that you can't quite get. Into oh, and you can even get the celestial seed. That's cool. I already have it, but that's cool. Um, you can drag it into 
this little spot to prevent it from expiring. So if you haven't quite got it, but you really do want it, you can just put it into this little spot and it won't expire. It'll be there the next time around. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see if we go talk to this person. No, nope, wait. Okay. So that's how you complete the quest. There's this little note here. It was kind of covered before. Uh, so read section about that and activities. Okay. Purchasing and you can see kind of all the stuff. It, they'll go over it too. It looks like, but I still can't complete the quest. I guess I could just, you know, read the quest. So let's talk to Dilia. You will have to talk to them. No, nope, not Sam though. Uh, let's see who else. Valerian. Where is Valerian? Ah, Valerian is over here. So we'll talk to Valerian. It looks like this mount will be available. I'm sure there's something you have to do. If I remember right, I read something about it. It was like doing your uh, trading post weeklies or dailies every day or week or something and it was a certain amount of times and you'd unlock this um i could be wrong on that though so if i am just you know let me know in the comments because i'm not 100 percent sure uh they put a transmogrifier right next to it. that's actually smart that's smart um so look at wilder seabraid's inventory where is wilder seabraid that was the first dude I talked to, I think. Yes. So we look here. That's all the stuff again. And then finally, you complete the quest and you get 500 more traders tender. So I I haven't seen like what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe there's... Why did I just get another 500 traders tender? So right off the bat, I got 2,000 traders tender by doing nothing. I mean, one quest, I guess. Oh, here you go. Okay, so this is that mount I was telling you about over here. So once you get a thousand travel points, which is by doing these things here, uh, you know, there, there's a bunch of stuff. It looks like you'll then unlock, well, this or a variation of it, which I could look at it. But um, yeah, they have a bunch of things to do. So. Now might be the time to start doing these random things. I mean, it's like there's a lot of kind of kind of cool stuff that uh, worth getting. So, um, with that being said, guys, I mean that's that's the trading post. Nothing crazy. It's um, it's someone's already got it. Wow, someone already has it. That was quick, and it flies even though it probably shouldn't. Um. It looks like it's something that's kind of cool. Nothing pay to win. Nothing like, oh, you have to pay to get this stuff. It's just a little extra thing for playing the game. Is it necessary? No. Is it cool? You know what? Honestly, yeah. It's just a little thing for playing the game. Don't feel like you have to because you don't. You do not have to do this at all. So just remember, it's an optional thing. It's not something you pay for. It's just something that rewards you for playing the game, which I guess, you know, can be looked at as a bad thing by some people. I personally see why it's worth doing. Um, I, I get what they're trying to do. They're trying to keep people subscribed, but this stuff seems so easy to do, at least for now. Maybe it'll change later that, um, you know, it, sh it shouldn't be an issue like should be really simple and like if you decide you don't want to play you're, you're probably not missing out completely you could like unsub if you don't really care about any of the stuff for that month and then resub after Hell, you might even be able to uh do their little trial period and get it hmm, don't even think about that if anyone tries that let me know if that works because i'm kind of curious but uh, with that being said, guys, that is the trading post. Uh, if you like the video, hit that like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.